Posted Gloves here, and today we are going to talk about a very interesting topic, 16 bits versus 24. I bring this up because this is kind of a debate, and it shouldn't be a debate. This is one of the audio myths. Is recording at hotter levels better for your system? Well, in the digital land, freak no. Why? Because your noise floor is outrageously low. It would be good for all the analog parts of your system, but once it gets into your digital system, it's it's done. It's there. Your noise floor is going to re remain pretty much where it's at. So what? So what's the big difference between 24 and 16? Well, we've established, at least I've said this, not necessarily established. If you want to see it established, you can go read some books. But with our knowledge of this, with our Nyquist frequency and our knowledge of bit depth, we know that bit depth does not influence the way the frequencies are represented. It merely influences our noise floor. So 16 bits is merely a choice of dynamic range. So the question you must pose yourself is, does my signal exceed 96 decibels? Probably not. Not even in really loud situations, it probably doesn't exceed that. So you can rest safely assured that your signal will be accurately represented. Now we can go even a step further and say with low bit converters, you can go as low as one bit. Most signals, uh, even with the multi, even with like multiple bits, can be accurately represented as low as 12 bits. If you use tapes, mixtapes, cassette tapes, those are like six bits, eight bits. They do not sound bad. A lot of people think that low bits sound bad because of their old uh, Game Boys and things like that. They they relate their sound experience to those. But they also had intermodulation distortion. They, they just had all these issues. They had a way more issues than low bit depth that was not their prime issue so uh so the question comes 16 bit 24 bit for delivery format almost doesn't matter so what why do we choose 24 bit as engineers if you talk to anyone they're going to say oh 24 if they if they know what they're doing and even the ones who don't know what they're doing they'll probably say that because they think it's better so then you ask why and if they say oh it's higher quality then you know they're full of crap they the person who knows what they're doing will say because it gives you increased headroom you will get an outrageous like you'll get so much more dynamic range the other uh, the inexperienced and the experienced will say but the experienced one the knowledgeable one will say you'll get more dynamic range it allows you to do your processing but in the final delivery it just simply does not matter so when you're processing and you're doing all these things you want that range it's just simply for for like an insurance policy but and that's also shape dithering is more of an insurance policy than anything realistically the noise floor has gotten so outrageously low these days with the um, increase in quality with bit converters. We have, or sample sampling and digital conversion and stuff like that. We have now come to a point where they're just luxuries we have. So our signals can sound really clean and nice, which was used to be a, just a dream uh, without really having to wor worry about a noise floor. So 16 bits can accurately represent every aspect of your signal, probably, unless you have something that's really loud and demands that extra range, or for whatever reason, you've somehow approached the noise floor, which is beyond the threshold of human hearing these days. So kudos to you if you actually need that range. But the idea that going to 16 to 24 is going to give you some edge in quality with those exceptions, exceptions, like it'll give you a better frequency response is just straight false or extended frequency range that would increase your sample rate. But once you've passed 44.1, the issues would be mostly with your anti-aliasing filter than anything. So and 24 versus 16, when you bring it down to 16 to distribute it, don't feel bad about it. It's pretty much the same thing that it was. When, uh, and especially if you've increased, if you've compressed it or whatever and brought it down in dynamic range so that your signals are less, they don't vary as much, then you can use even lower bits, like arguably. So that's one thing about that. And uh, so, yeah, 24 is great for processing. If you have any questions about this, let me know. Drop your opinion down below. Maybe you just have some knowledge I don't have and you're going to somehow obliterate me. You know, I'm willing to learn. Uh, but uh, be smart and be kind in your comments down below. Hopefully this made sense to you. I hope it was in, uh, informative and you enjoyed it. If you have any other things you'd like to say in the comments, like what you ate for dinner, I'm all game for whatever that is too. Subscribe and have a blessed day.